Welcome to Sweetcast. This is Clint. And man, I stayed up way too late last night watching this debate that Rikita Law was hosting. I think that this was important and overall, I think that this was a good debate. However, it was driving me crazy that there were some things that is Ethan specifically didn't say. I think that he might understand this, um, but he didn't say it. And so I'm going to say it here. First off, everybody keeps talking about the movement. And I, I feel like there are a lot of people, and even in this, in this debate, this Rikita Law debate on Comicsgate, that don't understand what a movement is. A movement is not an organization. To treat a movement like an organization is to fail. So what do I mean by that? The, revol the, the Revolutionary War was led by a movement. There was an anti-taxation movement, an anti-authoritarianism movement in early America, and that led to something. There were a lot of people, enough people that wanted change that they were willing to fight for it even. Okay, another movement would have been if we go over here, let's see, the Black Lives Matter. Um, we're talking about even the uh, Occupy Wall Street movement um, and Antifa. I would even call that a movement where you have just lots of people that are agreeing on some kind of thing and they, they're so passionate about it that they're willing to act. Okay, that's great. Movements are great, but movements by nature of, of what they are, they're eventually going to collapse. Imagine a tidal wave that is has built up and is flowing. Eventually, it's going to peter out and it's going to lose steam. So what do you do with the movement? What makes un one movement successful and one movement unsuccessful? The difference is if you're able to harness that wave and create something lasting, then there will be then that movement will have achieved something and it will last. So the Revolutionary War, uh, there were many people, not just one, it wasn't just George Washington, many people were willing to use that movement to both fight a war and to create a country. A movement is as close to anarchy as as there has ever been. A movement is just, it's different people with different points of view. They happen to agree on one thing. And so if, if you can harness that while the iron is still hot, great things can happen. Amazing things can happen. So there's a lot of talk about Ethan Van Skyver and the, the Vox Day incident. Um, and also just comics gate in general. Is Ethan the leader? He, he definitely has the biggest platform. But him having a platform is not the same as the movement. I, and I think people in chat understood that. They're not the same thing. However, Ethan Van Skyver does have a lot of power. What he can do, and he mentioned he was going to do this by starting all caps, that, that imprint all caps, That I think that's the healthiest thing to do is, yes, of course, use that movement to create an organization. Because organizations do last. And I'm going to go back to Image Comics again because there are a lot of similarities. Um, Image Comics was more rooted out of the creators wanting freedom. And so it was a, it was a movement. I think there were, there were fans that were excited about it for sure. But it was so creator-led. Comicsgate is so consumer-led. But we are getting creators that are on board. Absolutely, we need both. You you can't read comics if no one's creating them. Creating comics is really hard to do if no one's buying them. So you you got to have both. So yeah, th that's awesome. Um, the thing I like about Image Comics, I might disagree with you know several things that they do, but what I liked is that they were born out of a movement, and they sort of built that in to their organization. And that's the reason why it lasted. So years from now, when people are kind of over Comics Gate or it, it has lost its steam, what are we going to have left? Are we going to have 
a new publisher or new publishers that have built into their constitution, so to speak, the principles of Comicsgate, that I think is the only way that the movement can live on. Um, because movements just don't live that that's the nature of a movement. They they're great for getting from point A to point B, but they don't just continually last. That's, that's not how it works. It's never, never has been how it worked in the past. And just think about any movement you, that was sort of a fad or that, that fell to the side. Um, they always lose strength. That That's just how it works. So you either got to use that momentum to win an election or, or to build an organization or start a war or whatever you want. Um, but it's not up to one person to decide. It's up to people that are, they're positioned well, they have the opportunity, and they're willing to see this. So I hope that's what Ethan Van Skyver is doing. I know he said he's going to be starting a publishing house uh, or a publishing imprint, excuse me. But yeah, that's, I think, what was missing from the debate. So the other thing is that Nick Ricada kept bringing up responsibility, and I heard it a few times. Nobody addressed it head on. Okay, so you've got fans, you've got critics, and you also have creators. I think those are the three major parties that are involved. E each of these, these key areas has a responsibility in order for us to make Comicsgate mean something. First the creators creators should be making comics that reflect what people are looking for from comics gate they should be making multiple titles they should be making you know they should be making them good um i think i think that that's happening or many people are working on it you know it'll be interesting to see all the books that come out of it but that that is a creator's job and i would even go so far to say that um Ethan and maybe some of the other creators that have more resources, I do think they have a responsibility to create to create an organization. And it's not Comicsgate. Comicsgate's not an organization. Create something new. Create a few new things. That way there are options. There are different ways things are run. But create it and make it so to last. Two is the fans. The the fans' responsibility is to try out these new comics. We've been pushing and complaining about Marvel and DC. I think it would be a massive mistake to just keep reading Marvel and DC. Try the new stuff out and see if you like it. And yeah, yeah, give it a shot. Read about it, learn about it, tell people about it. I think that is the fan's responsibility. Third is critics or um, YouTubers, commentators. Your responsibility is to treat these comic books like they are professional comic books. That's how it, you, we, we shouldn't be um, giving them a free pass because they're supposedly comics gate. It, it's kind of like saying it's organic. What does that mean? There's no, there's no set criteria specifically that makes something organic or not. It's all whatever you think it is. And so to try and list something, if it's comics gate or not, that to me is ridiculous. Comics gets a movement. Right now it is it's like catching lightning in a in a jar. It can't be done, but we can we can use it. We can use the momentum. So, when you read a Comics Gate comic book, if it's bad, if it's no good, you need to write a review about it. You need to tell the truth. The reason why this is important is because we don't want to be like those on the left or on the extreme extreme left we don't want to say that a book is good just because it reflects our values we want to say it's good based off of its merits we have to start that immediately so yes be critical you don't have to be rude i mean you, it, you can do whatever you want right treat it like it's treat it like it's any book read it and criticize it based off its merits that is going to lead to better comics that makes a healthy industry so thank you for listening today. It was uh, I'm sorry my voice is a little uh, croaky, I feel like, but I stayed up too late, woke up too early. Um, I could really use your help and support. Please like and subscribe and share this if you liked it. I'd like to hear in the comments below 
What did I get wrong? What would you add in addition here? And I'll see you in the next episode.